hi sweeties how are you all doing welcome to my channel once again in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how i made this beautiful v-neck peplum blouse with balloon sleeve i made this with three and quarter years of ankara fabrics and i achieved this using armhole princess that method so guys if you're interested in knowing how this has been done kindly watch this video till the end thank you so very much so guys this is my fabrics i folded it once i'll be cutting the front part of my blouse first so the first line i took is my bust line which is eight and a half inches from my shoulder the owner of this blouse is a 42 inches bust person so i divided 42 by 6 then i added 1.5 inches to it and that gave me 8.5 that is the formula on how to get your bust line so the next measurement i took is her bust point which is 11 inches from her shoulder then 15 inches which is her under bust the last line there is her half length which is 17 inches from her shoulder then i added one inch for sewing allowance so guys the measurement i'm taking right now is my nipple to nipple measurement which is eight inches divided by two so i added half an inch for sewing allowance that's the measurement i'm taking so i wrote a line that is from my half length to my bust line so i will go ahead and take my dart i'm taking two inches dart for the side front then one and half for the center front so i will connect the lines this is what i normally take for a boss 42 person so from her boss point i came down by one and a half inches i went up by one inches by one inch so i will connect my dart curve that's it right there guys forget about the neckline for this blouse for now though there is a line there that is three by three but remember this blouse is a v-neck line blouse so i will take her shoulder measurement which is eight inches i will go to her bust line i will take the same eight inches then i will connect the line so this line now will serve as her armhole line. So I will go ahead and indicate the midpoint. So from the midpoint, I will go down by one inch and come up by one inch. So I will add two inches to the side front. Remember, I'm going to cut out two inches. These two inches that I'm taking up and down, I'm going to cut it out. So I will now replace it to the side front so that it won't be shorter when I'm joining it. So that will now serve as my new armhole line. Remember, I said you should forget about the neckline for now. So I'll go ahead and take my bust measurements so i will add all the that i'm going to cut out both the bust the under bust and the half length so all the that i'm going to cut out i will replace them please take note so i will connect the lines so i'll go ahead and cut Remember to replace any that you are cutting out. It will be a very big mistake if you don't do that. Please take note. So this is my the front part 
of the blouse so i'll go ahead and cut the wording before i will now cut the back part i'll cut the breast part first just watch closely on how i cut my breast pad from the shoulder i measured seven inches so that's where my breast pad is going to stop is going to start then to my under boss can you see that so i will cut for the side front the first one is for the center front so from her boss point i will go in by four inches which is her nipple to nipple measurement you see this is for her side front so I'll go ahead and cut the back part of my blouse that is one inch neck depth though I'm not using it then I will take her bust line measurement which is eight and a half and her half length which is 17 inches plus one inch for sewing allowance for joining both the shoulder and then joining it to the peplum so i'm taking nipple to nipple of 5.5 inches including the zip allowance i will still indicate the zip part can you see i'm taking one inch for her zip allowance So one inch plus 4.5 that gives me 5.5 so from the zip allowance line I will take her shoulder measurement which is 8 inches and I will take the same measurement on her bust line just as I did for the front part so I will still indicate the midpoint but this time there is no I'm not cutting out any that I'm not measuring any one one inch up and down so i'll go to her half length i will take her that which is 0 0.5 for the back part so i'll connect it to one inch below her bust line so i'll go ahead and cut I will slash the zip allowance area. I will slash it open. So I'll use this to cut the lining, the hasty. I'm cutting both hasty for the lining and the main fabrics. So I will go ahead and cut the flare part of this blouse. So I folded my fabrics once, then I folded it again. That's twice. I'm using 1080 degree peplum for this blouse. So to do that, I have to divide her waist, her round waist into three. Then whatever it gives me, I will go ahead and divide it by 6.28 which is the formula for a full cycle so here 12 inches is serving as a full cycle so I have to divide it by 6.28 
so after dividing it i got 1.9 so here 1.9 will now be her skate radius which i have inputted already so what i have on food is 10.9 the length of her peplum is 8 inches plus 1.9 so I added 1 inch for sewing allowance. Remember I folded it twice. So I will go ahead and cut 3 of these because I am cutting 1080 degree peplum. So I am cutting the skirt radius right now does it right there so I'll cut three of these both lining and hasty so the next thing I will do is to cut my sleeve so the length of this sleeve is 20 inches and 18 inches width so you know there is elastic and there is gathers the downside has an elastic while the upper side is gathered. So I'm taking 6 inches for my cap height which is from my shoulder tip to my underarm. So from my cap height line I went in by 11 inches. So that will now be my round armhole. Can you see what my sleeve look like? I'm going to gather the upper part. So this is my center front. I have ironed hasty on it. So after ironing hasty on it, I will now iron the wadding, which is my breast pad. So to iron it faster, I normally add hem gum under. Then I sprinkle some water, then iron to just stick to my material. So this is the center front. I will iron the side front, then I will iron both the I will iron hasty on both the lining for the front, the main fabrics. And also I will iron hasty on the peplum. I didn't use peplum gum for this because the owner doesn't want it to stand too much. So I used hasty for it. She doesn't want that extra, you know how peplum is. So she doesn't want it that way. She just wants something simple. So I'll go ahead and join my center front to the side front. I will join all the joinables. So this is my peplum. I will slash them. Then I join. I will join the main fabrics together. Then I will join the line separately too. The, the fabrics to fabrics then lining to lining so after joining them I will now use the lining and turn the main fabrics okay you see I've joined the three together remember I cut three of the peplum so I've joined them together you see I've joined all of them I'll do the same thing to the lining. So I'll go ahead and turn it. It's very long. After joining it, I will now stop stitch on the lining. So this is me top stitching on the lining. Can 
Can you see that? So I'll do a small pleat. Not too serious. A little boss pleat. So I'm done with the purple on the next thing is to attach it to the main body that's when it's time for that so I'm done preparing the peplon so this is the main body of the dress I'll go ahead and iron I'll iron the nipple to nipple part where I stitch together can you see so I'll go ahead and trim I took seven inches for the neckline remember this is v-neck so I took three and a half inches for the neck width then seven inches for the neck depth so I'll go ahead and take all my horizontal measurement divided by four Then I will add my allowance. I added one and a half inches allowance to all the measurements. You already know how to do your trimming. Please guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. Can you see what it looks like? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So I'll go ahead and turn the neck with the lining. I'll do the same thing to the back part of my blouse. I will turn it. I will stitch both of them together. Then I will turn then top stitch on the lining so remember to slash if you don't do this it will not turn well slash before you top stitch Just notch all the parts around the neckline. This is mostly done once once your neckline is V. Remember to notch. So go ahead and iron. Then I will trim out all the unwanted parts. Anytime you turn your neck, there's the, the, the there's always excess from the lining. So I will do the same thing to the back parts. The back part is still a V-neck. It's just the same measurement front and back. Can you see? So I will trim out the SSS from the lining too. So I'll go ahead and join the shoulder. See the way I'm joining my two shoulder my shoulder. Can you see? The front part is in the middle then i will now use the 
back lining to cover it then I sew that's how I turn my shoulder and it's very simple can you see that so I've joined both shoulders So I'll go ahead and turn all the side because I'm not going to weave this blouse. So I have to turn everything inside, then stitch. Can you see this side? I've turned this side already. So I'm going to cover the sleeve join with bias. I will do the same thing to the peplon joining too because I'm not weaving the blouse so I'll use bias for both parts so I'll join the side we are almost done with our peplon blouse this is my sleeve I'll fold it the first time I will stitch I'm folding it with 0.25 inch so I'll now go ahead and fold for the one I will insert my elastic my 0.5 elastic so I'll stitch After gathering it, I will now give it a tight stitch so that it will not lose. So I will use my pin to insert the elastic. Can you see? What do they call this pin again? Is this sitting pin or something? Please guys, don't forget to like, give this video a thumbs up, share this video so that others will see and learn from it. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so very much. So I'll go ahead and stitch my sleeve to the blouse. I stitch my sleeve, then also fit the peplon to the main blouse so guys this is all about our peplon our beautiful peplon blouse thank you so very much for watching see you in our next video in our next tutorial and bye for now thank you